The Florida Department of Transportation presents this informational video about modern roundabouts for pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorists. What is a roundabout? A roundabout is a one-way, circular intersection without traffic signals in which traffic flows counterclockwise around a center island. The roundabout uses signs to guide motorists and has safe crossings for pedestrians and bicyclists. In Florida, about 45% of all traffic fatalities and serious injuries occur at intersections with stop signs and traffic signals. Statistics show roundabouts reduce the number of fatalities by up to 90% and result in a 76% reduction in injury crashes. Conventional intersections have 32 conflict points, while roundabouts cut that number by 75% to 8 conflict points. Because there are no crossing movements in a roundabout, left turn and right angle crashes are eliminated. Further, roundabouts have up to 40% fewer incidents with pedestrians and bicyclists. Conventional intersections have 16 pedestrian conflict points, while roundabouts cut that number in half with only 8 pedestrian conflict points. In general, vehicle speeds are under 25 miles per hour in a roundabout. This traffic calming effect gives motorists more time to judge and react to pedestrians and bicyclists, which is advantageous to older and novice motorists. Here are some user tips for pedestrians when accessing a roundabout. Stay on the walkways and cross at designated crosswalks. Do not enter the center island. And watch for motorists and bicyclists. If bicycle lanes are present on a roadway, they will end at the approach to a roundabout. At that point, a bicyclist has two options. Option one is to merge into the travel lane and circulate the roundabout as a vehicle, obeying all the rules for motorists. Option two is to use the sidewalk. Bicyclists should yield the right-of-way to pedestrians and walk your bicycle at crosswalks. Motorists approaching the roundabout must yield before entering as traffic already in the roundabout has the right-of-way. Motorists in the roundabout continue to move. Do not stop within the roundabout. If you miss your exit, don't panic. Just continue on your path until you come around to your exit again. When encountering bicyclists, motorists should yield to bicyclists and allow them to merge into the entry lane before the bike lane ends and watch for pedestrians crossing the entry and exit roadways to and from the roundabout, and yield the right-of-way. As we transition from a roundabout on a local road in a residential area to a roundabout on a state road in a commercial area, we see a different size roundabout with different speeds and different users. This recently constructed roundabout is located at State Road 17 and Hunt Brothers Road in East Polk County. It is used by a large number of 18-wheel tractor trailers. The roundabout is designed to accommodate all the turning movements of a tractor trailer. The roundabout includes a 14-foot apron, which allows the back wheels of an 18-wheeler to travel across the apron as necessary. The truck apron is raised three inches higher than the vehicle lane and is differentiated by red-colored concrete. These features make it clear that the truck apron is not something to be driven over by smaller vehicles. Ellis Hunt, president of Hunt Brothers Incorporated, a member of Florida's Natural Growers, is a big fan of this roundabout. I'd like to compliment DOT on a an excellent project. This roundabout has turned out better than I could have imagined. They were uh, very open and willing to work with the public. They took public comments a year ahead of time and incorporated some of those designs to actually make this roundabout 
bigger when they realize the number of 18-wheeler trucks that come through here. We pack fresh citrus and, and it all leaves our packing house uh, on 18-wheelers. So we have 3,000 18-wheelers came in last year and then they leave, so that's 6,000 trips through this intersection. People were questioning how well this would work. Well, I'm here to tell you it works extremely well. The traffic's flowing well. They're not backed up behind 18-wheelers waiting for a, enough clear space to get through. I would encourage any community uh, to embrace this and uh, work with DOT and they'll see the benefits that we have seen here. So from a safety standpoint, traffic flow standpoint, this has been a complete success in my opinion. The Florida Department of Transportation hopes this informational video has enlightened you about roundabouts. Following these tips will help ensure that pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorists together can safely use roundabouts in Florida. You may ask yourself, what is a Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI? A DDI is an innovative, proven solution for improving safety and mobility at interchanges by shifting crossroad traffic to the left side of the roadway through the interchange. The DDI resembles a conventional diamond interchange, but no matter what direction you are driving along the crossroad, you will diverge or cross to the left side of the road through the interchange and then cross back over to the right side of the road on the opposite side of the interchange. An added safety benefit to the DDI is traffic entering and exiting the interstate does not need to cross opposing traffic when making a left turn. Though the crossovers look different than a conventional interchange, the DDI resembles the conventional diamond interchange that currently exists at University Parkway in many ways. The first similarity is that the DDI has two entrance ramps and two exit ramps, which are common to conventional diamond interchanges. Additionally, all the right turn movements are the same for a DDI as they are in a conventional diamond interchange. Whether you are turning right from the crossroad onto the interstate or you are turning right off the interstate onto the crossroad, you stay to the right side of the crossroad or ramp, just like you do today. Finally, the crossroad approaches to the interchange remain similar. If you want to make a right turn onto the interstate, you will keep on the right-hand side of the road as you approach the interchange. If you want to make a left onto the interstate, you will keep to the left-hand side of the road as you approach the interchange. Through lanes will allow you to continue straight on the crossroad to navigate through the interchange and continue along the crossroad. Pavement markings, traffic signals, and guide signs will assist you as you approach and travel through the interchange. So what is different about the DDI? The difference between a DDI and the conventional diamond interchange is a crossing intersections and how you will handle the left turn movements. These crossing intersections and left turn movements are critical to the efficiency of the interchange as well as its overall safety. The crossing intersections are where traffic diverges to the left side of the roadway through the interchange on each side of the interchange. These crossing intersections are what make a DDI so effective. As you can see, signalized crossing intersections are positioned on each side of the interchange and are designed to eliminate turning movements. As a result, left and right turning movements do not impact these signalized crossings. This allows for more efficient signal timing, which reduces delay times and minimizes conflict points. The crossing also directs traffic to the left side of the crossroad, so left turns onto the interstate ramps and off of the interstate exit ramps are unimpeded by other traffic. This enables the interchange to more effectively handle high volumes of traffic and eliminates the more serious crashes typically associated with a conventional diamond interchange. Studies of existing DDIs show a significant reduction in crash rates and crash severity, upwards of a 50% reduction in crashes. They also show an overall reduction in interchange delay times from 10% to 40% and an increase in overall capacity from 10% to 30%. Now let's look at some of the DDI movements in more detail. If you are heading north on I-75 and you want to go west on University Parkway, all you need to do is follow the right side exit off the interstate.
and then head left at the end of the ramp where the exit splits at University Parkway. This will enable you to then turn on to the westbound University Parkway lanes. For traffic that continues on, the lanes will curve back over to the traditional right-hand side and you will continue westbound on University Parkway. Now let's look at the interchange if you are heading westbound on University Parkway and want to go southbound on I-75. You will cross over to the left-hand side of the road and continue under the overpass. Following the signs and pavement striping, you will get into one of the two left lanes and take the exit ramp that will allow you to merge onto southbound I-75. Next, we will look at how to navigate through the entire DDI. Going back to heading westbound on University Parkway, we see that the crossover signal controls the oncoming traffic, just like in a conventional intersection. You will continue westbound and pass traffic at the northbound exit ramp waiting to merge onto University Parkway. A bit further along, you will continue westbound while some traffic turns left onto the I-75 southbound entrance ramp. Once again, you will continue westbound and cross back over to the right-hand side of the road on University Parkway. Now that we have looked at the details of how you will navigate the interchange in your car, let's take a look at how you would bicycle or walk through the DDI. If you are on a bike heading eastbound, you will stay on the right-hand side of the rightmost through lane and cross over to the left side of the road along with motorists. While stopped at the crossover intersection, you may encounter a pedestrian who is using the crosswalks to access the sidewalk in the median of the interchange. You will continue to ride your bike through the interchange while the pedestrian walks through the median of the interchange. As you get to the other side of the interchange, you will cross back over to the right side of the roadway and continue eastbound on University Parkway. If you are the pedestrian, you can decide to exit the median on the north or south side of the interchange as you exit the interchange. Six of the eight pedestrian crosswalks are signal protected, making walking through the interchange very safe. Between 80 and 90% of people surveyed believe that DDIs are safer for bikes and pedestrians.